Hello everyone, I'm Nicolette and welcome to my channel where I vlog about K-pop events and concerts. I review cosmetics and I do some modeling stuff on the side as well. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be trying out the Elevate Brows Brow Lamination Kit. This was provided to me through the Beauty Top Expert Review Program. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a review program for professionals in the field of cosmetics, whether you're a licensed esthetician, makeup artist, or if you've worked in cosmetics retail for a long time like I have. And it gives us a chance to try new products without being a big influencer with a bunch of followers. Okay, so. let's get started. Alright, so according to the instructions here, actually, let me put my bangs up in a roller first. So they don't get in the way. Okay. Okay, cleanse using a cotton pad damp in water. Gently wipe away excess oils, grime, and makeup. Gently sweep across brow in an upward motion. Okay. Okay. Spence the lift step one solution into a disposable well. Okay, apply the lip solution using the lip gloss brush. Start in the thickest area of your brows, working towards the arch and then towards the head of the brows and lastly to the tail of the brows. Repeat the step, apply a solution evenly to the other brow. We're going to set a timer for six minutes. Okay, the timer is up, however, I don't think I put enough of the solution on my brows in the first place, and so I might need to wait just a little bit longer. I didn't want to glob my brows full of this stuff, um, so I was just adding a little bit at a time until it started getting raised up and laying flat against my face.
It is stinging just a little bit. So if you have sensitive skin, maybe just watch out for that. Okay, and just like the first step, we're going to use the lip gloss applicator to put it on my brows and then use this brush to brush my brows upward. gonna set the timer for six minutes again. And then next is the brow conditioner. Again, same thing, dispose it into this little cup. And then apply it with the lip gloss applicator. So from here, I'm just going to trim my brows a little bit.
let's see how well this how well this holds up with the uh, Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Okay, obviously I'll go back and like clean up around here. Oh, not bad. This little section on my brows is not holding up that much and that's probably just because I didn't put enough of the lift solution on it. Um, but it does seem to be holding out pretty well with the brow gel, whereas normally Without my brows laminated, this would not stick up like this. It would just, it would just droop down because I have such thick hair. Okay, so today is the 29th. I will come back and record again in a week to see how well this brow lamination has held up. It is November 5th and it's been a whole week since I did my brow lamination and I mean, it, I think it's safe to say that it doesn't look like I did anything at all. My brows are very thick, so I think the method of just brushing them upwards with the relaxer, that wasn't enough to hold my brows down. Uh, if you've ever gotten your brows laminated at the Benefit Brow Bar, for example, they have this saran wrap that they put on like your brows and your forehead and they stretch it back to hold your brows in place. And that's probably something I could have done with the at-home treatment. However, um, it did also like burn my skin. <laughs> like right here, you can see where it was burned and then over here in the corner and then this corner right here did not take it at all and so while I was able to lift my brows like a little bit this part was still drooping down so I'm not sure I mean here let me, let me put on some brow gel
Yeah, and then you can see right here where it's not, it didn't take it out. Yeah, I mean, my brows look fine. Do they look laminated? No, not necessarily. Um, I think if you have thinner brows, that home treatment would work better for you. Um, but if you have thick brows like me, it might not necessarily work as well. Or maybe you can try doing the saran wrap thing and pushing your brows upward, like I said, to see if it holds it better. Um, and also, when I was talking to my friend who's an esthetician, she was saying how there's different processing times for uh, the thickness of hair, which makes sense. But if I went any longer than the six minutes that it had me do, I definitely I would have burnt all my eyebrows off, I think. So I'm not sure that maybe if it's this specific formula that's a little too harsh or something. I don't know. When I was looking at some other reviews of this product, it Others said that it also kind of burnt their skin. Um, and then they, the ones who did have success with it, they look like they had thinner brows than I did. So I'm not sure, like, maybe like two out of five stars, one out of five star. It didn't, it just, it did not work for me. Um, but thank you to Beauty Tap and to Lash Artisan for providing this product for me to review. And I'll see you in the next one.